going to do a haul <laughs> and it's from buying things from today and then also buying things on Thursday and then last weekend so it's like all mixed up you know so it's just a collective haul and don't mind the lighting I don't know what's going on today my lighting I just can't get it right so just never mind that I hope it comes out good but it just keeps changing and then I've been messing with it for like 15 minutes I'm just done with it hmm. and I want to start off by saying I have no eyeshadow on my eyes today so it's just mascara it's foundation blush and mascara and that's all oh, and conceal under my eyes but I don't have any eyeshadow on today mm -hmm -hmm. just keeping it plain so there's nothing to show you today okay the first place I think the first place I went to was Pandora <laughs> And you guys know that I'm obsessed with Pandora. And I got two charms from there. Let's see, where are they? Where are they? Here they go. I have, and I'll do up closes on these because you can't see them from here. Let me take this off though. I want to get something with my birthstone in there. I want this uh, bracelet to be pretty much silver. I don't want like all different colors and stuff on there. So I still kept it pretty plain silver. But just add a little pop of color. But from far away you can't tell that there's color on there. But if you look close you can. And so I have like the little pink opal. I guess that's what it's called. That's my birthstone. I was born in October. And so I have like the little pink opal right here. It's a little flower. I think they call it like a starburst or something like that. And then... I have the Bible. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have the little Bible right there. So I'm almost done. Like look at it. I'm doing really good. Wait, where is it? There we go. This is all I have so far. I'm doing really good. And I'll be almost done. So excited. Oh, and the girl in the store saw that I had the comb and the scissors and she said, Oh, you got the comb and the scissors. Do you want to get the mirror? I was like, there's a mirror? She's like, yeah. I said, maybe I'll get that next time because she has the comb, scissors, and mirror in hers. But yeah, but that's my bracelet. Oh yeah, I'm addicted to Pandora. It's addicting. <laughs> and then the next place that I went to was um, Michael Kors. Because I wanted to get this little tiny mini Hamilton bag. And they didn't have the one that I wanted. They had the mini one, but it didn't have handles on there. And I was like, no, there's a small one with handles. And the girl didn't even know what I was talking about. She's like, they make those with little handles? I was like, yes. It's so cute. I saw it on YouTube. I know they have it. She told me to go to Nordstrom. And I went to Nordstrom. I saw that they had the luggage color, which is like a, a brown. But I was like, no, I want black. I already have a brown bag. I want a black color. And they didn't have it in the store, so they had to order it for me. So then a box came back on Thursday. It came really quickly. And I got my bag. It came, it came. And um, I did put a picture up on Instagram of like a screenshot of what it looked like online and after I put it up there I was like I think people are gonna think this bag is big it's not big it's really really tiny so this is it look isn't it cute it's the little Hamilton mini bag and it's a, a, a crossbody isn't that pretty I just like it cuz it's so cute and it has the little baby walk on it and the little baby handles like if this ever came off like if the straps ever came off you can like give this to your daughter and she could be walking around with her little baby bag so cute but I'm obsessed with it and then I went to the uh, Michael Kors outlet today just to walk around and my mom and my sister got something and the girl at the store was like oh my god you have a little baby Hamilton bag I was like yeah it's so cute isn't it it's just great if you want to know the price of it it is 168 and it is called the mini messenger Hamilton yeah I got it from Nordstrom because the Michael Kors store they don't sell it they don't even know they didn't even know what I was talking about so here we go bing 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 and the next place that I went to was DSW. <laughs> DSW right here. And I actually wore these sneakers today. But the sneakers that I got were Converse. And it's just the classic Converse, the classic black. See? Let me just pull up one. And as you can see, I have very big feet. But girls, you don't understand. Converse, I think, is going to be my new best friend. Because if you watch my videos, you know I'm a size 11. Yeah, have big feet. But in Converse, I wear a size 10. Oh my gosh, you understand? I bet you like 10 is still big. Not if you're a size 11. Going down a size, it's like Christmas. So I'm like a size 10 in Converse, and I still have room to go. I could have went down to a nine and a half. Well, 
that's not taking a little too far. Right, and I'm obsessed. I want to get these in every color, and they're so comfortable, comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> then, where else did I go? Then I went to Ulta. Just a little bag from Ulta. And from there, I I use uh, I used to use this like a few years ago, maybe like a year ago. The It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In um, product, and this stuff is amazing. I just spray this on my hair, either it's wet or dry. And then they actually gave me a little um, little sample of their Miracle Hair Mask. I never tried this before, but It's a 10 is very good. So I just got that. I got, uh, I need some stuff on my face, because my face is like breaking out, like going crazy. But it, it is calming down though. And um, I was using this African black soap that I bought from Whole Foods. I was using it from head to toe, like on my entire body. And it works good on my body, but it, it my face doesn't like it. So I had to go back to what I was using before. And that is the Olay Regenerist um, Anti-Aging Micro Purifying Foam Cleanser. And that is what I got from Ulta. This stuff is amazing. I love it because it does not, I don't think it contains salicylic acid in there. I don't think it does, no. Because my face really doesn't like when there's a lot of salicylic acid in products because it like irritates it so to speak and it feels like it makes it break out more. So I've noticed that my skin works best when I use like anti-aging face wash, like face wash for mature skin. My skin loves that. So I have to go back to what my skin likes, you know. I was trying to go natural. I was trying to go the natural route. My skin ain't having that. Like my face is not having that. So I got this. And I got two other little Olay Regenerous products. I got their um, micro sculpting serum that you use in the morning time. And then I have their night resurfacing elixir for the daily nighttime treatment. I have used this for like, I think I used this twice. And I just put it back in the box for the show. Not the, not the show, for the video. But um, I noticed that my skin is softer. Like after I put it on, my skin is very smooth. I don't know about firming or anything, but it's very smooth. I haven't used the nighttime yet. I'm going to use that tonight. But here you go. These were like $8 each. They do come in the normal size, which is like $22 each. And I was like, what if my face don't like it? And then I would have wasted like $44. I would rather waste $16 and $44. So I just got the small ones. If my skin likes it, then I will upgrade to the big size. And then I'm trying to grow my nails again. And I am using the Sally Henson Nail Nutrition with green tea and olive for growth. And they said that you're supposed to notice longer nails in seven days. We're going to see about that. But this is um, what you just paint on your nails every other day or every day. Is it every day? Yeah, every other day. So you just put this on your nails and it should make your nails grow because my nails are short again because I cut them and now hmm, I need them long again because I love long nails. It makes my hands look pretty, you know? And I think this was like $7 or something like that. Yeah, I'm not good at prices. This was $7 and I think this was 12 or something like that. Yeah, because there's one size a little bigger than this and it's 18. Or was this the 18? No, I think this was the 18. Hold on. Yeah, this was the 18 because there's one smaller than this and that was 11. Yep, yep, yep. And after that, that was all the other days. And what I got today was I went out to the outlets with my mom and my sister, and we went shopping. And I went to Kate Spade. A little bag, I love it. So I went to Kate Spade, and I just got one little thing here. And it's a little bracelet. Okay, the bracelet comes in a little tiny pouch. I love this little pouch, it's so cute. And it's a little silver bracelet. It comes in gold too, but I got the little silver one. And it has like kind of like positivity things on there. On the inside it says Case Bay, New York. And on the other side it said this is the year two. And this is dot dot dot. And you're supposed to finish reading on the outside. And it says this is the year two. Learn a new language. Start something new. Um, see and be seen. Travel. And live the hotel life. And then meet new people. I think that's it. Yep, and learn a new language and it starts all over again. But this is awesome. I like it. My sister has the gold one, but hers said something different because she bought hers a long time ago. And I was like, oh, this is where you got it from, from Kate Spade. This is great. So I got a silver one because I like silver. <laughs> and this was originally $49, but I ended up paying $29.40 for it because it was on sale. The last place that I went to is Banana Republic. 
And I just got a few things from there because it was weird. Like, it took a long time for us to get to the outlets. It's only supposed to take, like, an hour. And it took, like, like over an hour. Like, way over an hour. Like, an hour and a half because I got lost. Um, and I went the wrong way, turned around, all that crazy stuff. So by the time I got to the outlets, I was, like, over it. And I really didn't even want to buy anything. But I bought a few things. And so at Banana Republic, I bought these two shirts. Um, I got this black one. It's just a, a basic tank top, tank top, a basic tee, but it has like a little satin neckline. That cute. And then I got this purple, like snake skin pattern. And I got this one right here. Boop, boop, boop. Great. You know, I put these on, I can put these on with like slacks or whatever. Sometimes I can put these on with skinny jeans. I don't care. I like to just comfortable. These were originally $36.50, but I did not pay $36.50. I paid $14.99. Yeah, girlfriend. And then the last thing that I got from there is this Banana Republic sweatshirt. <laughs> it's with a hoodie. So I could rock this when my mom forces me to go walking with her on weekends and it'd be cold outside and I don't be feeling like doing that. So um, I got that and that was originally, hold on, this went down like a couple prices. First this was originally $49.99, then it went down to $19.99, and then I paid $11.99 for it. And then my mom got so excited when she saw it. She saw that I got one, that she got one. And then when we got home, she tried it on. And she was like, this is too tiny. I don't want this. You take it. So now I got two. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? She said, now you got two. Just wear both of them. I'm like, okay. So now I got another gray sweatshirt. I'm like, I wish you had a different color. And then the last thing, I had to stop off at CVS to get something. And then I forgot that I needed to buy me some more genie bras i know you're gonna laugh but you don't understand these bras are the most comfortable bras that you can ever have in your whole life and i know you guys notice i'm saying so i'm saying comfortable i'm saying comfortable because that's just how i say it these little genie bras they're so amazing but they come with these little things inside let me get it out they come with these little pad things inside i don't wear that mess i got enough padding I don't need these things. So if you ever wore genie bras before and you don't like the way they fit, take these stupid things out. They're just like sports bras. There's nothing grandma about it. Like the girl that be wearing it on, on the box, it don't look like this on your body. It just don't look right on her. It just, she not doing justice with this. It look like sports bras. That it, you know when you be going, you wear a sports bra to go running or go to the gym? It looks exactly like that and they're so comfortable. You don't have to wear out no wire. They lift you up. Believe it or not, they lift you up. It's so good. Your clothes fit nicely. When I go back to wearing, like when these have to be washed and I got them in the laundry and I got to wear real bras, I feel so uncomfortable. I hate real bras now. So I go to Genie Bras. They are the best in the whole wide world. I got one on right now, girlfriend. I got a black one on right now. It's amazing. You just understand. So anybody that want to laugh at a Genie Bra, next time you see a girl running at the gym with a sports bra on, it's the same thing. But they are just so comfortable and they give you support and everything. And it's just great. And I love it. So I believe that is all that I bought from the store. Yeah, that's all that I got from my haul. I know it was all over the place, like random things, like re really weird. Like it was not a good flow of stuff. But anyway, I think that is all that I have. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.